Hey guys, I'm back for another Minecraft tutorial, and in this one, I'm gonna be rebooting a very, very old tutorial of mine, and this is the Toggleable Nether Portal. So yeah, you come up here, you press your button, boom, your nether portal turns on, you go in, you do your own stuff, you go back because you got bored, and then once you get through the portal, my skin just disappeared, wonderful, <laughs> you press this button and then boom, the portal's gone, no sounds, no pigmen spawning through, no players coming out. And it's pretty damn awesome. So, let's get on with the tutorial. Obviously, the first step to making this machine is you gotta build the nether portal. Duh. So you put down your nether portal. And then you gotta put blocks back here. All the way over like this. There you go. And then you take two dispensers and put one there. Put one there. And this one's gotta have flint and steel in it. So you just take some flint and steel. Go like that. And then the top one has a water bucket in it like this so then what you do is you put down a button over here you put a block here and then you take a repeater lead it into a dropper not a dispenser a dropper and then another dropper facing up like this and then you need to get a hopper and face it into a third dropper that's going to be facing down like this boom so then you just go like that and then you got to put an item in there, so I might as well put a hopper. And as you can see, it stops there. And then you go underneath here, and you take some redstone line, and you got to go like this. So then boom, 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 and then a repeater going like that. Then the next step is you got to go over here, put four blocks down, and then you got to put another line of blocks like that. Get two redstone comparators, boom, boom. And then two redstone repeaters, boom, boom. And then you got to take a redstone line and go like this. And it just powered the water. Whoops. Okay. Don't pow Don't put the water in before you power it, because then you get water everywhere. Hold on. There we go. Get your water bucket like this. And you're done. So, if you press the button, boom. Press it again. Boom. So, it's really that simple, and I did post an old tutorial on this, but no one saw it because I only had like 700 subs at the time, so why not reboot it? And I gotta say, I love this design, it's very simple, it only has one button, and it's relatively compact and cheap, so that's it. So, leave a like down below if you enjoyed, and make sure to tell your friends about this awesome design and make it so they put it in their house, <laughs> and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.